Welcome back. Now we're going to make a pasta con finocchio. Uh, first, I know it's a pasta with finocchio, but a salsa di finocchio. So finocchio is wild fennel. I learned how to make this sauce 45 years ago. Um, maybe 40, yeah, 45 years ago. I was uh, in my 20s and I went to live in Sicily in my mother's town, Milazzo. Ciao, Milazzo. Un abbraccio, un bacione. Quanto ti voglio bene. Spero che ci vediamo un'altra volta. I've actually been um, awarded town ambassador to Milazzo a few years ago. So, pasta with finocchio. So, we're going to do salsa di finocchio. And this is going to go with the pasta that we made, we're going to make. This is an ancient sauce that of Cucina Povera. You utilise the ingredients that you had. So they had fennel growing, sauce and pasta. Staple diet of Cucina Povera. And I tell you, this is absolutely a delicious sauce. So I've got one shallot and I've soffritta, which is slowly fried it. I'm going to put it, whoops, see me a little bit better. There you go. And that's just going to come up. I'm going to keep a little bit of this because I want the flavours to come through. So I'm going to soffrire. A little bit of the finocchio in Sicilian, in English. I, you, I want you to see me. In English, it's wild fennel. In Sicilian, is finocchio salvaggio, sabaggio, which means wild, crazy. I'm going to soften you some of that because I want that the oil of the plant to take on the shallot. I'm going to smash a little bit of garlic, put that in there as well. Organic polpa chopped tomatoes. A nice thick texture. I'm going to put the whole lot in. That nice and thick. going to be a velvety nice thick sauce and then I'm going to put some of la conserve della nonna loosen it up a little bit or if you don't have this you can use passata and you can use the, the muti brand of passata that will just work just as well And you let that just cook slowly for about 15 minutes. Add a little bit of salt, not too much. Then we're going to add some more of the wild fennel. 
a little bit of pepper. If you want a bit of chili, add a little bit of chili to this. This doesn't take long to cook. And how do you know when it's ready? The oil comes up the surface and then you know. You put, turn it down a bit and let it go down just a little bit more. Let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes. When it thickens up, you know it's ready. Quick, easy sugo. Sugo della nonna. A sugo that's been cooking for generations and centuries on the outskirts. When you see fennel anywhere, you know there's either a Sicilian or Italian that have thrown the seeds in the paddocks. I used to I used to get the wild finocchio with my nonno in when I was growing up in Flemington. We were we lived I lived the first five years of my life in Flemington and we used to go at the outskirts of Flemington walk with my nonno and collect the wild fennel and that was that's a staple. The smell of this wild fennel is phenomenal and you got to know I actually got it from the market this week and I've put it in my um, pork schnitzels I made with this as well. Use this instead of parsley. It's utilising the ingredients and the seasonal ingredients that is much going to be more healthier for your body, your digestive system, because we are se seasonal human beings and we need to eat seasonal produce seasonal ingredients and eat with the season that's important so la salsa di finocchio sabbaggio this is a sicilian sauce la salsa la salsa di finocchio sabbaggio sabbaggio in italian wild is salvaggio in sicilian sabbaggio